What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today is a different video for you. Uh, we're going to go over some cleaning stuff. A lot of people walk into the Durbin Compound and they're like, how do you clean these ceilings? How do you clean these windows? How do you keep this place dust free? Well, today I'm going to show you, so stay tuned. So on today's video, we're going to go over some dusting and cleaning stuff. Sometimes this is for the women, but around my house, uh, this is for me. I love cleaning. I love sweeping. Um, I love just making stuff look nice. And when those cobwebs get up in the corners, um, I've got some vaulted ceilings that, you know, are 24 foot up. Uh, so, you know, it definitely, you need a solution to get up there in those areas. Um, the fan in my... Uh, the fan in my living room is on a six-foot extension pole off the ceiling and then I need a 12-foot a-frame ladder to get to it So it does pose a big challenge to get it dusted get the light bulbs changed I got to bring in the 12-foot a-frame ladder to do anything to it So I've invested in some Unger stuff. Um, I'll link this stuff in the description below, but I have their fan uh, dusting tool and I have this uh, this half round or whatever you want to call it half round uh, dusting uh, thing I don't know what you call these things but who cares um, it's great for cobwebs it's great for those corners and um, I've also bought their 20 foot extension pole so this is a nice aluminum telescoping pole um, it's very very strong um, I use this I originally bought this tool for cleaning the windows outside we'll get to that soon but uh, I, I uh, I love this for inside. It's 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 uh, great. It's not too long, um, but it still gets the job done. So uh, let's go ahead, and I'm going to change camera views and show you how I use it. All right, guys, so a little time lapse for you, show you just how I dust. Um, that fan is a pain in the butt. I mean, you'll get the hang of it, but it just wants to free spin as you try to, uh, to wipe off the fins. So a little patience goes a long way. Um, I think that especially with inside cleaning, uh, it's best that you build your own kit. I mean, Unger sells some kits. There are some kits on Amazon and stuff like that for dusting and, and vaulted ceilings and things like that. They can get very pricey. Um, I have three tools for the inside. I have that half round. I have that fan. Uh, that fan blade, um, whatever you want to call it, a fan blade duster, and then I have the pole. That's all I need for the inside. I really don't need all this fancy stuff. Um, I have found that microfibers uh, on my wood, you know, on this polyurethane pine and on the logs, all that uh, microfiber does is get caught and then it snags the, it snags, uh, the microfiber and then you're left with um, little lint things hanging from the ceiling everywhere. So just be mindful of exactly what you're trying to clean. If you have regular vaulted ceilings, then you know microfiber might be something for you, but definitely does not work for me. I need a, a thick brush um, to be able to get in there. Now that pole, when it's at full extension, it is very strong. It will bend. Um, I do use the crap out of it. Maybe I abuse it a little bit, but nonetheless, it holds up just fine. Um, it does great for me and uh, it, it's a good investment and that's why I'm making this video. I definitely recommend that if you're uh, trying to clean something or you or a loved one are trying to clean uh, vaulted ceilings or places that you can't reach, um, it's a great thing to get. So let's go outside. I'll show you how I clean windows with it. Uh, and just show you how easy it is. Maybe we'll do a little time lapse of that, uh, and then we'll wrap this video up. 
All right, guys, so we're outside. Um, it's a little windy, so I hope the audio isn't completely trashed, but bear with me, the content is there. So I picked up the Unger 14 inch scrubber and uh, squeegee combo. Uh, it means scrub and then squeegee on the backside. It's uh, pretty convenient. What I was doing before is I was using just a scrubber and then a, uh, a squeegee after. So I have a bucket that uh, is big enough. This is an 18 inch bucket. Um, the reason why I went with 14 inch brushes is because my pitcher windows uh, are a little bit uh, too, uh, too narrow for 18 inches. They are bigger than 18 inches, but to get up in the crevices and stuff, I just chose to go with a 14 inch so it was more wieldable um, at the end of my extension pole. So you get that extension pole all the way out and that 18 inch is uh, uh, very cumbersome. So I, I did that based on somebody else's uh, somebody else's recommendations and I'm very glad that I did because a 14 inch does get uh, quite cumbersome uh, when you get it full of water and it's ready to go up. So let's go ahead and put on a time lapse and I'll show you cleaning these pitcher windows up here on the uh, epic side of the Durbin compound. All right, before I start washing windows, um, I'm sure people are gonna ask, what do you use for your, uh, your soap or your wash or whatever? Uh, now, I, on my stuff, use Chemical Guys Black Light. Um, it's got some gloss enhancers. I use it on my car. Uh, it's great for black paint, um, and it's also great for windows. It's got that beading, a uh, little bit of uh, beading technology in it, and those gloss enhancers uh, really make the windows pop. Now, that's what works for me. There are tons of recipes on the internet of what you can use uh, to clean windows. Uh, it, it just works for me. So uh, you do what you want. Uh, you play around with different solutions and stuff like that, and you know, see what works for you. We're filling up our bucket now, so uh, let's get down to it. Right, guys that wraps up the video on how I clean my outside windows and how I dust the inside of the Durbin compound so I definitely recommend the Unger stuff whether you have a regular size house or cathedral ceilings that are huge and just uh, massive and just a pain in the butt to work on um, sometimes you need scaffolding to do some of this stuff around here so uh, the pole definitely helps out um, I'll stop bumping my gums. I think you got the gist of it. As always, I hope to see you click subscribe, ring that bell. I'm coming out with videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at noon. Um, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this video, whatever you're into. And uh, if you're still interested in watching the video, you can stay tuned after this. And um, I'm gonna go around to the other side of the house on the other picture windows. And we're gonna clean them on a time lapse. So stay tuned for that if you wanna see it. But as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.